welcome back to my channel. Today I have some really fun recipes in store for you. This video is all about Easter recipes, so I have three Easter inspired treats to show you. We will be making an orange Easter bunny smoothie, a black bean carrot patch dip, and lastly some coconut macaroon bird's nests. That might sound a little funny, but you will see very soon what I mean. Make sure, as usual, you wash your hands and ask an adult for permission and supervision before we get going, and let's get cooking. All right, friends, for this Easter bunny smoothie, here are the ingredients and tools that you will need. Two carrots, chopped, one cup of frozen mango, one tangerine, one frozen banana, and one cup of milk. I have almond milk here, but you could use regular milk or any milk alternative. Now we'll just blend everything up. Okay, here is the finished product. As you can see, it is bright orange like those carrots. Let's pour it into a glass and give it a taste. So for this next recipe, the black bean dip for our carrot patches, you will need one can of black beans. These have been drained and rinsed off. You will also need a lime, three tablespoons of olive oil, one clove of garlic, some cilantro, and in here I have a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, and a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. You will also need a blender or food processor. And lastly, I have just a little bit of water here to help it blend. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit now and see if we need more once it starts blending. Okay friends, now that our black bean dip is ready, we can assemble our carrot patch. So I've got a little tiny ramekin here, or a small bowl would work too. I've got some baby carrots, and then I have these tiny pieces of cilantro that are going to be the carrot, the green part of the carrot. So we're going to scoop the bean dip as the soil into our little pot. There we go, looks like a little bit of soil. And then we're going to take the carrots and I've got a toothpick here that we're going to use to pierce a hole through the carrot. Not all the way, just a little bit. So once all the carrots have holes in the top, we can go ahead and carefully poke the cilantro stem in there. So it looks like a carrot with a carrot top and then stick it into the bean dip soil. And then here is the final product, a little carrot patch with little carrots, with cilantro tops, and some bean dip soil. All right, friends, so here are the ingredients and tools that we will need to make these little coconut macaroon bird's nests. So first of all, I have three and a half cups of unsweetened shredded coconut, four small eggs or three large eggs, one quarter teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. You'll also need a mixing bowl and an electric mixer like this. So for this recipe, we're just using the egg white. We won't be using the yolks from these eggs. So we're going to go ahead and separate them, put the egg whites in the bowl, and the egg yolks you can save for another project. Now that that's done, we're going to add the salt, sugar, and vanilla to this egg white mixture, and we'll beat them with the electric mixer for about one minute until the sugar looks fully dissolved.
All right, this is looking pretty good so far. And now all we have to do is add in the three and a half cups of coconut. Now we'll take a spatula and gently fold in the coconut. When you're done mixing, it should look something like this. And it's really important now that we cover the bowl with some plastic wrap and we let it sit for about 30 to 60 minutes. So I've just taken the coconut mixture out of the fringe. It's been sitting in there for about an hour. Let's see how it looks. And what I have here is a lined baking tray with parchment paper. And I'm just going to take one tablespoon scoops and place them two inches apart on my baking sheet. This is all I can fit on my baking tray. And what I'm gonna do now is with my clean hands, I'm going to kind of press them together a little bit more and then use my finger to make a little hole in the center so that we've got a nest shape. All right, now it's time to take these into the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. After 18 minutes, they look like this, just a little bit golden brown and that's perfect. I'm gonna take them out now. Now we need to let them cool down and firm up a bit before we continue. So here are the coconut macaroons after they've come out of the oven and cooled down for quite a while. I think they are super cute and they're gonna look great once we put the eggs in there too. So I have a couple of options. I was able to pick up some almond M&Ms. However, for a slightly healthier option, I thought you could put in some regular almonds and maybe even drizzle some chocolate. This is just some melted chocolate chips that I put in the microwave. All right, friends, I have our finished products here. First up, the orange Easter Bunny smoothie, chock full of carrots and mango and banana. It looks delicious, it's a beautiful orange color. Let's see how it tastes. So good, and you don't even taste the carrots. I think the Easter Bunny would approve. Next up, the little black bean dip with our carrots, with their little carrot tops. I think this is so cute. Let's give it a taste as well. I think this dip would also be really good with some corn chips. Okay. That is super tasty and full of flavor. Oh my goodness, that's really tasty. All right, now time for dessert. I have these super cute coconut macaroon bird's nests with little eggs, little almond eggs and little M&M eggs. Let's see how one is. I'll try it the almond one with a little bit of chocolate. Mmm, friends, that tasted just like an Almond Joy. With the coconut, the chocolate, and the almond, it's exactly like an Almond Joy candy, but much healthier and I think even tastier maybe. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you give one of these snacks a try over spring break. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye friends.